We work on it all year, guys, and finally it has come. The FIFA 19 Operation Sports Sliders coming your way. All right, let's jump right into it. I am Matt 10. I am the, I'd like to say I'm the project manager of this entire uh, slider operation, if you will, but um, yeah, we spend hours upon hours. It's not just myself, it's so many of the guys at Operation Sports. Fantastic community. If you haven't joined, make sure to do so because that is the place to be. Let's jump into these sliders, guys. As always, we're suggesting 10 minutes um, to 15 minutes. However, we have had reports that guys have gone as low as six minutes. So you can use these for six minutes. You may need to adjust some things, but either way, six minutes can work as well. So I'd say really you could go six minutes to 15 minutes. And there's also been guys who's, who've been on 20 minutes. So again, adjust to what you see fit, adjust to see you know how you play. Um, you know, and if you're going to play realistic or you're going to play arcade, that's up to you. The sliders will still benefit no matter what for you. The way I always play is I will do world class for home matches and then legendary for away matches. I haven't played ultimate as much, but I know many guys have that have tested and it seems to pass. So again, it, you can use it the way I have it where I do world class for home matches and away matches I use legendary. So it's a nice setup. It lets me build in a kind of a home field advantage if you will. You could technically just do legendary the whole time or world class. Either one works. Really good difficulty values. I would say if you were to ask me world class, legendary, ultimate, what's the biggest difference? Really just the errors. Um, just you know the percentage of errors that you'll see. With the sliders, there's always going to be some impact there, but you know when you adjust them, it, you know it's going to lower that percentage. So, world class, our error, our pass error is at 52. On legendary, it's going to play more like a 50. On ultimate, it's going to play more like a 48, 49. So, but again, that's just something I always want to bring up as an option for you guys. Keep um, your career modes interesting, uh, you know, and, and just kind of maintain that kind of sense of uh, freshness and, and you know proper difficulty. So jumping in to the actual slider values, user and computer are pretty much exactly the same. There is no discrepancy this year. So in the past, we've done discrepancies um, to kind of be in favor of the computer or in favor of the user. This year, we're pretty much keeping it as straightforward as possible. Now, I am including some of my personal preferences in this because, you know, I want to always give my input. However, I'm also going to list what Operation Sports uh, and what we actually have listed as the base. Remember, you can adjust as you see fit. So, you know, the Operation Sports sliders are the base and then adjust as you'd like. So I'm going to include what my personal preferences are to that base. Okay, so first off is sprint speed for the user 35, computers also 35. The reason 35 is a kind of a, a nice number is for me, FIFA is such a fast paced game. I need to slow it down in terms of animations. It's very twitchy by default, right? The, the way the player's legs move, it's very abnormal. It's too fast. It's a game for online. I get it. There's only let me play four minute halves or what have you. So it, it, it's built for speed, and so we have to lower it. And 35 has felt the best for me. They really start to go into a full sprint, but you can tell it's just a smoother animation. I personally really love how the game slows down nicely with your players, and you really have to be smart what you do with your body of the players and moving in certain directions etc so sprint at 35 a piece you can definitely adjust this as you see fit i would say don't go higher than 45. the next value here is acceleration at 50. we haven't really touched this as much the main thing is because fatigue is tied to acceleration so if you go under 50 you're going to have more stamina if you go above 50 you're going to have less stamina so we're going to keep it the way it is. Shot error at 55 seems a bit high, but honestly, with the way FIFA 19 is, it's very easy to get shots on target, including manual shooting. 
Um, on top of that, you get some really cool ball physics relative to the shot speed you choose. Um, I will go into that, but the shot error at 55, you're not going to get so many wild shots. What is nice, though, you'll get some of those high shots and wide shots, and it'll it'll be realistic where you, you, you could see that in a real match of somebody missing it uh, like that or missing it that badly or mishitting a shot. Uh, it just brings a lot more dynamic play to the game overall. As you lower the minutes you play, obviously you may have to adjust the shot error value so that way you're not you know, playing a 0-0 zero, zero game every single time. So again, that's more on your side. Uh, adjust to what you see fit for that. But we found that 55 is a really nice sweet spot. Pass error is at 52. This value always gets looked at. We always start pretty high with it because we're trying to gauge what threshold we can actually get to with this value because it is so dependent on you know from build up from ball physics uh and 52 has felt like the best balance of them all for me i like i like 52 a lot because it still creates a sense of you know inaccurate passing relative to you know the player rating etc but it also maintains the physics of the ball if you go too high you'll notice that the ball will no longer float in the air it will actually drop down and dip down as quickly as possible on top of that you go too high with pass air you then also run into issues with crossing uh, the computer's crosses can get worse um, you know quality players you know, they can make you know, terrible passes and, and that is realistic in a sense but not super consistent you know elite players should be able to make simple passes um, and simple crosses etc so pass error 52 has been a nice balance um, there has been talk about you know if you go too low you get into the tiki taka um, approach I think people's perception on what tiki taka is is a little misguided uh, you know, if they're doing a bunch of one touches completely through your defensive line, then and it's consistent. Yeah, that would be more tiki taka. But if there's simple one, one and two touch passes in certain parts of the pitch to get out of danger, etc., that's fine. You see that pretty much all the time with with good passing teams, regardless of their quality. It's mainly a pass and move um, look, and and then it's also dependent on how you defend. So there has to be some ownership there. Uh, how you defend relative to the passer so 52 has been shot speed is at 49 i've recently been on this value um, because i really like how the ball floats in the air it doesn't float super slow that like i thought it would um i thought it would throw off the sink between the keeper um and the shot speed and the shot error etc but all things considered you can actually see the ball fly into the net so much better. It feels like there's actually some weight to it versus if you go too high, because we did have it once at 51, and you just kind of lose track of the ball. It's it's so lightweight. It's like kicking a volleyball, you know. Um, that's good for goalkeeping practice in real life, but not great, you know, from, from watching uh, the game as you play it. The ball just just speeds up through and, and that's the whole thing with with the frostbite engine of how the ball just seems to move at normal speeds at times in passing and, and shooting so with this shot speed at 49 it's a really nice balance that i've seen um, and this is my personal preference at 49 on these on the sliders as is we have them at 50 um, but my personal preference um, is 49 because i do like the physics and i do like how the ball moves in the air um, relative to how the keeper animates uh, and everything so shot speed 49 50 for the operation sports sliders next up is pass speed this is a value i i was very reluctant to change and the reason i was so reluctant is because by default in pre-patch for fifa 19 the ball moves so slowly across the ground it just didn't feel alive and so getting it down to 45 was really tough for me but the more i played it the more it still felt alive and it also slowed down um, the computer's attack the user's attack where it didn't just feel like you can just easily pass um, and, and just break down teams from just quick passing etc um, it, it 
it feels good. I think there are times in which it is sluggish, but that's relative to the pass error as well. Um, if you're, you know, if you're a manual passer as well, you've got to kind of hold it a little bit longer. But there's a lot of good things. And, and back in FIFA 14 days, uh, pass speed made a big difference in the air as well. And so I'm seeing that as well with this. The ball floats a little bit more realistically relative to the pass error you choose. But pass speed at 45 is good. I definitely believe if you want to move it up, you, you know, let's say you don't like that value, um, you can easily you know, move it up to 50 uh, whatever whatever value you like i like i did like 52 for a while but ever since i've been at 45 it's been pretty good but you know like i said you, you can definitely adjust this to what what you'd like so i'm going to tackle frequency and severity for injuries here at the same time using them uh you know we've been all over the map with this 65 has stayed consistent but the severity has been kind of a, a strange one to figure out we've been all over with 15 um 10 5 30 35 40 i mean you name it so 15 has been kind of a, a nice spot for us we had this similar to last year and it's just been a consistent one to use and so that's where we're at i'm just keeping it pretty simple 65 15 the goal with injuries is to see enough injuries throughout the course of a career mode and you know see enough walk-off injuries where you know players can still play shake off the injury but then uh, there's also that sense of of course where they you know have to be um, carted off or you know or, or subbed as a result etc so you know 65 15 this is just where we're at again personal preference for you guys um, what you want there but career modes are really important we only test in career mode so this was all tested that way to ensure that we had a good representation of what a manager is going to go through in their career mode and you know and their players getting banged up and so that way you can test your depth etc so uh 65 15. next up is uh goalkeeper ability uh i have this at 49 that's my personal preference the slider operation sports sliders are at 50. again that's the base i found at 49 which seems a bit strange because we're trying to improve the goalkeepers I found that at 49, it's mainly about syncing the animations together. If the shot speed is at 49, it felt like when I had the when I had the goalkeeper ability at 50, I felt like the goalkeeper was ahead of the shot, meaning they were starting to try to make saves before the ball was even there. So they'd kind of whiff um, and kind of flail at the ball somehow instead of being in sync with what's happening. So dropping their ability down to 49 makes it more relative um, or rel kind of relative to what um, the shot speed is and that way they are in sync with what's happening you know as the ball's in the air etc i've seen some amazing saves seen some um, questionable saves which is realistic and so the main thing for me is the reaction of the keeper i, I want to make sure there's not an instant reaction as soon as ball to foot but i want to make sure it's kind of just a slightly delayed reaction uh, which then will create that kind of um, nice balance of slight deflection saves and then kind of more realistic movements desperate uh, you know attempts at saving etc so goalkeeper ability my personal preference is 49 os sliders is at 50. next up is marking i've played around with this recently actually you know we worked on this version and we have it at 50 uh, on operation sports um, but I'm pushing for 55 so my personal preference is 55 as we have it on OS right now is 50 but I believe there is some room to make up for marking I think I like 55 because I want resistance throughout the pitch I, I started to feel like it was a bit easy to get through at times on both sides um, you can also run into the issue because of our narrow width uh, players will kind of run over each other because they've got just a little bit more room they're moving to and so it kind of opens up one side of the pitch with it the marking at 55 it lets them kind of separate just a little bit more uh, so that way it's not so easy to beat them just side to side uh, through passes after through passes and then facing up against the, the the defensive line and taking shots from distance so i like marking at 55 you can't go too high with marking and you really can't go too low uh, if you go too low you get more of a zonal look which is nice but then you also run into the issue 
um, with just how they how the computer can react to you you know facing up against them um, putting pressure on you relative to the custom team tactics etc but also with that low marking you, you kind of you can get some weird animations as well where they're kind of taking terrible angles into the ball um, or into the player and then it just kind of makes it really easy you can compensate by increasing a acceleration um, if you feel comfortable doing that um, but again it is kind of volatile you kind of don't know what animations can pop up as a result so um, overall marking at 55 has been good again like I said don't go higher than that because then you can run into the uh, overly man marking where you know the defender is gonna follow the midfielder all the way to the other side um, you know into their own box and and then on the other side uh, so you have to be careful with adjusting marking this year remember custom team tactics are so important this year so instructions um, you know tactics uh, cost of pressure um, pressure after uh, bad touches etc those type of values can come into play as well so that's why this is a really sensitive value 55 is just where I'm at right now I feel like I'm gonna keep it there my personal preference is 55 OS sliders is 50 next up is run frequency run frequency always gets a bad rap in a sense we always seem to keep this at 50 for the longest time really enjoy it and then all of a sudden we get these patch updates that then make it wide open and constantly bombarding down the pitch you could pass it to a midfielder and then you just hold the ball and you can see completely are surrounded by his own teammates running forward you know in, in a mad gasp as if it's the 90th minute and we're down by it by a goal it's just a thing with FIFA I know it's an online game now which is unfortunate because not too long ago we were playing FIFA 11 FIFA 14 FIFA 16 um, and it's really become such a hyper game and the offline crew really has to work on the sliders to kind of get it up to par of what's realistic and believable so run frequency at one here really allows the type of runs to go you know forward and then check two not too many runs going forward as well um, but still enough where if you're on a counter attack you will still get plenty of players forward use your custom team tactics to further improve that as well you can also do your manual runs with no problem uh, so one one is where we're at with these so the heart of any slider set is the height length and width if you change nothing from default and you just want to create shape you can adjust these three values and really just make a solid set honestly we've been a bit over them all over the map with this because we've definitely honored ea's team tactics um with the with the line settings we've been in the in the default 50s um we've lowered it we've raised it um all over the map so i like this look and it's mainly to allow the length here to be at 35. 35 We've seen just a good compression, um, more of more of like a half field uh, type of match, but then also enough where it spreads out, um, so it's not so compressed um, where it's just you know half field ball the whole time. There is enough where it's a good balance between the two, and then we raise the height to to make up for um, you know some of that ultra compression. The you know use the height to then push out that line of the midfield and the banks there to just get further out so that way it can decompress properly and then we have width at 49 because we don't want so much of it happening on the sides we want more congestion in the midfield in the center of the pitch um, so that way that will prevent less easy you know easy shots from you know top of the box or even further or, or simple through passes etc so found that this kind of combo has been working really nicely me personally with the marking it's even improved it further um, so this is exactly how we have it on OS and the same as my preference as well 65 35 and 49 if you like I said if you don't change anything on the sliders change these three values and you will be happy um, to see just a better shape and overall feel of the game of just how the computer plays and how you're gonna be forced to play as well and second to last value here is the fullback positioning so this is the second year in which EA's kind of 
made a bit of a mockery to outside backs in which they are so far tucked in that they are almost playing center back roles, especially in transition. Uh, and we found that if we have this value too high, they get caught up the pitch playing like a CDM essentially. Um, so we've been, again, all over the map with this, but I, I just had to say that we had to just drop this, uh, you know, to not so low, but not, you know, not near default because of the issue with the outside backs just wandering about, you know, not able to be found anywhere because they are, you know, trying to mark somebody in transition and looking like a CDM so they don't get back to their, you know, their defensive spot. And then it just kind of makes it a counterattack, very narrow approach. Um, and then it's very easy to be beaten on both sides of the ball. So fullback at 35 has been safe. If you need your fullback, of course, overlap, they will definitely still make those runs. Please don't worry about that. You can do your own instructions. You can send them on manual runs, etc. But we feel good about 35. Um, and that's kind of that's kind of the best balance and the best of both worlds. The last value here is first touch control. So a big thing with FIFA 19 is the active touch, the first touch control. It's been pretty strong this year. Um, and it's odd enough because on default, the ball isn't very much alive. It kind of just glides across the pitch, but not in a realistic fashion. And it's odd that they have such a focus on first touch, but the ball is so soft. Um, so we really kind of had to ramp this value up. The patch update before the most recent one really improved the variety of the first touches and the impact of how they look and how the ball bounces off players um, and just 50-50 challenges, etc. So we really want to take advantage of this value. For, o, for the OS sliders, it's at 60. I've raised this up gradually and I like 70 of where it's at. It brings a little sloppiness to the equation, but it also allows for the ball to still somewhat be more alive. Um, so this is a good value to get some variety. If you start to play, you know, some, some matches and you think maybe, you know, some of these elite players should be able to control the ball a lot better, you know, that's definitely up to you. You can just lower this value very simply. Um, and, you know, it's completely up to you. But I personally like it at 70. Of course, there's room to go higher than that and room to go lower. You won't miss out on, on too much regardless of what you do here. So 70 is where it's at right now. Anyway, that is all I have for you guys today. I appreciate you guys again for watching the video. Make sure to leave your comments, like, and subscribe. And as always, take care and stay tuned.